All right. On this episode, I am joined by Robbie King, who is the Assistant Director of Admissions and also a recruiter for Ivy Tech in Columbus. Robbie, thank you so much for joining me. My pleasure. Good to see you, Brian. Good to see you, too. All right. So um, just tell us a little bit about the Ivy Tech uh, location they have in Columbus, the one you're at. And I know you used to work at Franklin as well. Um, so just kind of, I guess, tell us about that. Um, you know, why a student should consider attending and, and all that. Okay. Thank you, Brian, for having me first off. Ivy Tech is um, a, a popular college in uh, Indiana. It's the only community college that we have in the state. And we are actually the largest college by far as far as student population in the state because we have many locations. Yes, I work at the Columbus location the Columbus campus, and we just opened a brand new building, um, uh, servicing many brand new programs coming to the area. And Ivy Tech is a great fit for high school seniors to transition to a four-year college. Many times, students are not ready for that four-year scene. And coming to Ivy Tech, taking at least two years to get an earn an associate's degree or even some certificates to build that transition to a four-year college is a great transition. You're going to save money by doing that. We are the lowest tuition in the state. Our credits will transfer to all public schools in the state um, as long as you pass with a C or higher. So staying at home, if you can, you've got that support system at home is a great benefit. So you're not taking out costly student loans and, and those credits are going to transfer with you. Um, that is one of the huge benefits and perks that a student may want to attend Ivy Tech. Okay. And then as far as like being accepted into Ivy Tech, uh, as far as admissions requirements, uh, what are the admissions requirements and what do you look for in potential students? Okay. So Ivy Tech is an open enrollment campus, which means uh, we don't all uh, require SAT scores, ACT, ACT scores, or any long essays in the application. In fact, our application is free. It's online. It's not a lengthy application. It, it doesn't take very long to um, fill that out. Um, and as far as requirements, admissions requirements, the application, you want to fill out your financial aid information, which um, providing when this information goes out, you can high school seniors can start filling out their fi financial aid information today and it's good for fall next year fall 2023 and then we do talk about some testing aspects so if you do have taken the sat or act or perhaps you've taken dual credit classes um, you may have already taken the knowledge assessment the knowledge assessment assesses in reading, writing, and math. So we need to know where to get start students started as far as their math and English classes, which is their prerequisite classes for all of the classes that they will take to earn an associate's degree at Ivy Tech. So we have that in place. Um, you set up your student account. It's done through your student account with us. You can take it from home. There is no fee for the assessment. Now, there are ways to be waived out of that assessment. So like I said, if you have an SAT or ACT score, we would just look, take a look at the score and see if you qualify for a full waiver or maybe a partial waiver of the assessment. If you have a cumulative high school GPA of 2.6 or higher, regardless if it was a honors class or you're on the track for honors diploma, that doesn't matter. And again, if you've taken any dual credit classes, perhaps you already have some test scores or maybe you've already completed some college level English or math. And after we figure out the assessment piece of where we fit, then we would um, have you meet with an academic advisor who will help you register for your first semester of classes. Okay. Now, as far as the programs that you guys offer, I know just Ivy Tech statewide offers just tons of programs. I believe, I feel like 70, but I feel like that's not quite enough. I don't know. But what do you guys specifically have at, at, at Columbus? So as, as far as the state, we over 
150 different programs that we offer. Well, I was, I was complete. I was, I don't know why I thought 70. I don't, I was, I thought 70 for some reason, but then it was like, I've been on your website and seen all the pages. I was like, yeah, There's yeah. 70 there. Yeah. Well, and that is a great resource is our website, ivytech.edu. So anytime you want to do a career exploration or, um, how can, how much money will I make with an associate's degree if I want to be a nurse? What can I do as, with that? At the Columbus campus, we don't have all 150 programs at the campus. We still have many, um, anywhere from nursing, medical assisting, surgical tech. We also have some IT programs. Um, we have a cyber security academy at our Muscata Tech Center in North Vernon. We have an aviation program, which is uh, limited um, as far as availability in the state. We don't offer that at every location. We are one, if not the only campus that offers an aviation program. So if you're interested in becoming a pilot, well, you would start at the Columbus campus. And of course we have our standards business administration or, or, if, or if a student is just wanting to take general classes we have a general education or a liberal arts associate's degree and take those credits with them. So when they go to a four-year college, they're not starting all over as a freshman, they're entering in as a junior, which is an important element. Um, so we also coming up at the Columbus location is dental hygiene. Um, and there are very few locations in the state that are offering dental hygiene and this will be central, not even the Indianapolis or Bloomington campus offers dental hygiene. So that's another um, huge program that's coming to the Columbus campus. Yeah, that's that's fantastic. And then um, once they get done with that, will they be able to, they'll just be able to go right into a dentist's office and be good to go? That is correct. Just, just like they would uh, if they were a nurse, they're still working a med surge floor at a hospital still passing medication. So absolutely. Very cool. Very cool. Now you talked about um, the, the cost. So what is the cost to attend Ivy tech and, and what are the kind of financial aid um, things that they have in place? As I stated earlier, we are the lowest tuition in the state. So we charge per credit hour and right now per credit hour to take a class is 149. 55 per credit hour. Most of our classes are three credit hours. So you would take that number times three. We do assess a technology fee every semester for every student. And I believe that's $75. Um, and that does not include books, which currently right now we are not, um, we are offering free textbooks. So um, if that's still continued. I don't know of any other college that is offering free textbooks right now. By large, um, you can earn an associate's degree uh, with right around $10,000. And that doesn't include any kind of scholarships, any financial aid. So if you qualify for any Pell Grant um, or any uh, state aid, that all takes into account. Um, as far as final financial aid um, and speaking as a former student, I'm currently a grad student right now, um, saving, I just look at the cost at where I go and how much Ivy Tech costs. And I'm like, I really wish Ivy Tech would offer a master's degree in this, but we don't offer that right now. So, um, you know, the four year college scene is great a huge benefit um, and you still can do that four year um, uh, college scene after two years. So very, very affordable. Yeah. Yeah. Now do they have, uh, does Ivy tech offer master's degrees as well, or is it just the associates and the certificates? So the highest level we offer right now is an associate's degree. And like I said, we have certificates and technical certificates. Okay. Yeah. All right. Going to get you out of here on this last one. Um, okay. What's something either that you wish you had known about this process when you went through it? Um, now, if you're, you're like me in that if I would have known 
you could have told me that there would be something called a common app. And I would have been like, what's that? And then you would have said it's on the internet. And I probably also would have said, no, what, what's the internet? <laughs> so, but you may have a different, uh, different thought than I do. So what's, what's your, uh, something you wish you had known or any advice you may give? This? So trying to think far back when I was a high school student, which is just, just been a few years ago. Um, the process now is so easy and there are so many services available for high school students who are wanting to be um, a college student. So I, I feel like the support is out there is strong. The students have to ask the questions. You have to be bold enough to say, I'm not sure how I'm going to pay for this. Um, and that may deter students because they're not sure. I don't know if I will. I don't know how to fill out financial aid. Um, and even if I do, do I have to take student loans? What is that? And that may just turn people off altogether. But when when you're looking at the, the long-term goal, you know, what is the career that you have in mind? What are you wanting to do? Are you wanting to be, to be a nurse? Okay. Go to Ivy Tech, earn your two-year Associates of Nursing degree. You're still a nurse on the floor. You're still passing magic medication, like I said earlier. You're still doing all of those aspects of nursing, but then get in with a hospital that will pay you to get your bachelor's degree and finish that. Ivy Tech is an excellent starting point for any career choice. You may not want an associate's degree. We have many certificates and technical certificates that you can earn to help move you up at um, an employer. And, and when you're adding Ivy, Ivy Tech to your resume, um, you know that's a that's a great benefit. And everyone in the state of Indiana knows that you're getting good quality education at Ivy Tech. So if I was talking to myself back then. I would um, I, I would encourage myself to keep moving forward because I was a late bloomer. I didn't go to college, which I do not recommend right out of high school. And I wish I had just because I didn't think services, I didn't think I would um, make it into college or how would I would pay for it. Little did I know that there were people there that would help me and help foster that and make me feel comfortable that, Hey, I can do this. Right. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's, it's just making sure you, you look at all the options that you have available to you and, right. and you take the route. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much for joining me on this today, Robbie. I really appreciate it. Um, just learning all about Ivy tech and the wonderful options that it has. It's a, it's a great, great school and, and the, the price is affordable the uh, the opportunities that they have are are just second to none. So it's a great option that we have. So once again, Robbie King, uh, Assistant Director of Admissions and Recruiter at Ivy Tech Columbus. All right, good to see you.